Hey guys, um, we brought this video to your attention today because we have a story to tell you. Um, we had a tough situation in our family this week and the more we kind of started sharing it with our close friends, the bigger we realized that this needs to get out there. Our friends were like, this is important. Um, you need to share it. And to save y'all from having to read a long post, basically, we just decided to make a short video, as short as we can. Um, this week, our daughter, she's seven, she earned some tablet time, then I let her play our tab my tablet, it's my personal tablet, um, and she was playing this game while I was drying my hair. And while playing this game, an ad popped up for her, a video ad, it was very inappropriate, and she brings it to my attention, thank goodness, and we talked about it, talked about why it wasn't okay, and I waited, sort of, to, for him to get home to be able to um, talk more about it as parents before we, you know, went further into it. And thankfully, he's a little bit more logical than I am. I'm a little bit more naive, and he brought in some good points. And so that's why we're doing this together, because we started playing it after our girls went to bed that night. I told him about it. He was upset. <clears throat> I I was very upset. I wanted to see this ad for myself. So we played this game over and over and over, and both of us did over about a 45 minute period, trying to see this ad for ourselves, and we never saw it. It never popped up for us. My ads. We got to thinking, why is this not showing up again? Because you know most of the ads repeat. Yeah. And I, I, I had the idea maybe this is targeting her. Uh, is it tailor made for people? Uh, which blew our minds a little bit. Then we started thinking about it, and I think this is a good point. Our ads were all picture ads, um, ads that could be skipped, go on to the next level, this and that. Um, scarily enough, my ads were education ads, and his ads were about agriculture. But again, a picture ad that can be skipped and go on to the next level. So he had a really good idea. I put another phone in front of my face so the tablet couldn't see me, it could see her picture, our, our daughter's daughter, picture. Yeah. And immediately the ads changed. They changed from picture ads that you could skip to video ads uh, that were a little bit longer. And But still this ad never popped up. We could not get it to pop up for just us. So we put it away for the night, we talked about it, and the next morning, again, wanting to figure out why it plays for just our daughter, we decided that we could put it in her hands and let her try one more time. So we handed her the app, the tablet, she played the app, and on the very first ad, guess what popped up? <laughs> the inappropriate ad, immediately. And we became even more scared because we realized the depth of this ad. And I know we've tiptoed around how to say this and um, we're just going to put it out there, speaking truth for what it is, um, because it is so, there's so many facets to this video. Basically, what it exposed our children to was, first off, um, a homosexual relationship, um, which is something that we, you know, have already talked and discussed with our daughters. But even way further than that, um, it advertised uh, lying in a marriage, it advertised adultery in a marriage, it advertised deceit and cheating on top of all of this, okay? Yes, our antenna went up at the beginning, but it just became so much more when we realized how many inappropriate things were targeted and that our seven-year-old understood. In she that minute and a half, yeah. she knew there were two men kissing and he was hiding they it were from hiding wife. it from their wife that they had on top of lying. She knew they lied in the video. Yeah, he was having to keep it a secret and people were even questioning him. Why are you lying about it? She gathered all of this, but here's what's so scary because it's all about what they um, introduced our daughter to in this amount of time. It was a video that grasped her attention. It was played like a movie trailer. It could not be skipped. Our daughter had to sit through the entire minute and a half to be able to play the next level or whatever, however it went. Um, and it knows that children are more prone to do that, okay? They're patient enough to sit through knowing that the game's coming in just a minute. And so 
I'm so naive and I want to think what that, you know, it, it can't happen to us, but it did. It straight up did, as, even as much as I try to shelter our children from tablet time. So I guess the whole point that we're trying to get across here is teachers, I'm a teacher. I've put tablets into children's hands before, wanting them to learn educationally. It happens. It's out there. It recognizes either their face or their voice or in some form, it is targeting our children on purpose. There's no reason why a child should even see this ad except to instill this ideology in them early in life. That lying is okay. And there's no yeah. way you'll, you'll convince me otherwise of that. It, targeted marketing for children should be apps, other apps, toys, you know, TV shows, something that should grasp her attention that would make her want to buy it. I would get that. That makes sense. This type of ad is very much trying to plant a seed in our child that is just not a, okay. And so um, I'm sure there may be some questions, you know, we just want to get the word out there. Um, please don't be <laughs> naive enough to think that any app is a safe app or any show is a safe show. Like somebody pointed this out to me myself, you would not throw your child into the pool and, te and hope they learn how to swim. You have to protect them. You give them floaties, okay? You don't send your son out on the football team without helmets and without protection. And so that's what we have to do with our technology is we have to protect them. Turn your microphones off. Turn your, um, uh, like allowing your camera, turn that off. I have a friend that even said, I actually tape the front cover, the, the front camera. I put a piece of tape over it so it can't see our child's face. And that seems extreme, but any sort of protection to keep them from encountering things like this is a step in the right direction as parents and as teachers and as grandparents and all that sort of stuff.